Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £250 worth of 50p's we're hunting through looking for commemoratives. Ones with more than face value but ideally looking to fill the book. As ever links are in the description to the books I use if you want to pick one up. There's an Amazon affiliate link so I do get a bit of a kickback if you make a purchase. Page 1. We just need the Kew Gardens. I say just. It is the rarest, uh, commemorative, uh, rarest commemorative 50p out there. Uh, so it'd be a great one to tick off. We've got lots of Olympics still to tick off, but not football. We did manage to get that one. That's the rarest of the Olympic set. So nice that uh, we know we're not going to be stuck on a football for our Olympic set. Otherwise, we need a Flopsy Bunny. And then we are complete up to and including the Coronation 50p. As of this video, I'm still yet to find one of the new definitive uh, Atlantic Salmon 50ps. But uh, maybe one will turn up today if we're really, really lucky. So let's cross our fingers and get into this bag. Into bag number one then, which will open in real time and I'll show you whoops, what it is we're looking for. Uh, that's the shield definitive design, became the definitive uh, design on the 50Ps for, in, in 2008, it'll run through to 2022. Uh, the key dates look for 2009, 10, 11, 16, 18 and 2021 for the years that didn't circulate and then 2017 is the low minted circulating year, they're the main ones anyway. Uh, right, Britannia. Britannia was the definitive design up to 2008, and it's 2008 which is the low minted circulating year. Anything after 2008, of course, shouldn't be a Britannia. Um, but uh, we will take another definitive. The, uh, the Atlantic Salmon 2023 um, definitive one would be a lovely find, as I said. Yet to find one myself. I'm very jealous of all of you who've been lucky enough to come across one already. But, bag number one. Okay, unfortunately a case of the diddly. So what we'll do is speed up until we do find something. Oh, there we go. We've got something. It will have the king on it. It's the Memorial 50p minted uh, to mark the death of Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, as you know, I've always got to check that the king is on the obverse. I don't know why. I just have to. But a uh, fairly common coin. 9.6 of the million of those minted. There's the king again. Mm, it says 50 pence on the obverse, so it doesn't say 2023, so that'll be a memorial one, right? There we go. In case you think you've got an undated one, there's the date 2022. Hidden within the design, so I can't blame you if you have missed that, but uh, want now point to that out. If you do think you've got an undated one, check there, and I'm pretty, pretty sure you'll find a date there. Look, there's another one with R stamped on it. I don't know if you can see. There, that's much clearer. I've come across a few of these that have been stamped R. Bizarre, I don't know who is doing that, but if it's you, let me know. I'd be interested to find out. Oh, peace, prosperity, and pepperonis make the breakfast 50p. Check your expiration date. 31st of January 2020 is the correct date for that. Allegedly, there may have been some that weren't min uh, weren't mil minted down, weren't melted down uh, when Brexit was delayed and had to happen at a later point. Um, not that I have seen any with the incorrect dates, but uh, it's worth a check, isn't it? It doesn't take too long to check. We've got Diversity Build Britain there. Another fairly common design, but it adds a bit more variety to the hunt today. Oh, Benjamin Bunny there. Most common commemorative 50p coin out there, but check for the rotation error. Sadly not on that one. It'd be a nice one to find. I think we've found two in the past, so they're not all that common. Oh, 
where we start this bag with Jeremy Fisher from 2017's Beatrix Potter set, so it is very common. Ooh, there's another King Charles. Another Memorial 50p. Ooh, super. got Jersey there. So Jersey coins shouldn't be in our mainland UK chain so they are kind of interesting when they do turn up. They tend to be a smidge of a face value even the more common years. Uh, 2006 I don't know off the top of my head if it's a common year or not. I'm so bad at remembering those but uh, the annotation will tell you if it's a crazy uh, price tag on it then it's a rare coin. There's Peter Rabbit for 2017 set. We are just missing Tom Kitten. And then we've got the whole set, which would be quite cool. They are all very common though, but it's nice to be uh, to make the whole set in one video. Public libraries, again, a fairly common commemorative coin. Another common one there, dictionary. And then we have diversity of Britain once again. Oh dear. Oh, there is a commemorative as well. <laughs> Can you tell what it is? Oh, better not finish that quote. Goodness gracious me. Anyway, <laughs> this is a diversity built Britain, if you can believe it. That has had a tough old life. I might keep that one just because it's kind of cool uh, how battered that has got in very few years. So, probably down in the, in the oddities row for sure. Is that going to be something? I think it might be. Yeah, Pride 50p. Very cool. Relatively new one in circulation, one of the newer ones you can find. That's 2017. Benjamin Bunny again. No rotation error. We've also got Diversity Bill Britain once more, but it's a bit nicer condition than that previous one. Dear. Another one that looks really weird. Looks melted. These coins have been well and truly battered. Hmm. Maybe I'll keep that one as well. Why not? Uh, another dictionary. Oh, 
Mrs. Tiggy Winkle, our first 2016 Beatrix Potter. There's our first Paddington, Paddington at the station. One of four Paddingtons you can find in your change. They're cool designs, but again, fairly common. Oh, Victoria Cross, the heroic acts. A fairly common coin to find in your change, but for the first time today, one of these 10 coins, which were restruck in 2019 to mark 50 years of the 50 pence. Heroic acts right there. If you find any of these in circulation, do check just in case someone has uh, spent uh, one of the 50 years of the 50p coins because they weren't put in circulation. So are NIFCs, not intended for circulation. Uh, you can see the date is 2006, so this is not a 2019 restrike, but uh, worth a check, isn't it? Oh, uh, Girl Guiding, which again could be a restrike. This one's not, though. And there's Sherlock Holmes. Lovely design, that one. Well, we're on to the last bag of the hunt. We've had some weird coins today. A couple of nice ones, but uh, more weird ones than nice ones. But there we go. We've had a nice variety. Look at all these different coins down there. Exciting stuff, isn't it? Well, there are links in the description as usual uh, of this video to my coin collecting Discord server if you want to come over and join that. Another pride to round off today with. Um, there's also links to my other social media channels, uh, the peer box address if you want to write in to me, and of course a link to the Britannia Coin Company, uh, the company I work for as my day job. So please do check out their YouTube channel as well. I'm just going to wish through the coins off to the side and see if there's any key dates I've missed in the hunt. Well, Bountiful returns on ter in terms of the key dates. We've got two 2008 Britannias and we've got two 2017 shields as well <coughs> excuse me sneezing there um then there's also one 2019 shield which sounds weird and tinny which you can hear there sounds different I don't think there's any value to them I just keep them because they're kind of interesting uh, in terms of our star finds I think I'm going to give it to the weird coins and the jersey one but uh, you'll have to let me know in the comments what your favourite coin from today's video has been. And all it leads me to do is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.